Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. And today I'll be reading for fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries for the weekend tea. All right, November 19th to 20th, I think that's the right date. But anywho, let's get into this weekend tea and see what's coming up, okay? Or what you will be experiencing, or what maybe you already have experienced. All right, so let's see. Uh, fire signs, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, to book a private reading and shop in my store, all that information will be in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. What's going on with the fire signs? All right, I keep hearing reach out and touch. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place. If you can, reach out and touch somebody's hand. All right, so there is a, a mature man of high honor, somebody that is honest, somebody that is loving, respectful, respectable in the community or in, in his uh, occupation, okay? Very high regards. A lot of people see this person, they show high regards. So it could be a grandfather or maybe an older man, okay? There's a gift here. There is a gift here. Uh, let's clarify, what's this gift? What is this gift? What's this gift? Okay, the gift is structure, all right? The universe is, is guiding and showing you ways to, to create structure for yourself. So that is the gift that the universe has given to you. So you, you may have had an aha moment where you understand that you, you take lead into your life and not other people, okay? Imprisonment, so it feels like you were in prison at some time, mentally were in prison, but you have gotten out of that. You're not in prison anymore, okay? So this could go for a father, a grandfather, great-grandfather, an uncle, a brother. There's definitely a masculine energy here, a mature man. Even though this looks like an older, mature man, it could definitely be a younger man, but just acts very mature. So just take it how it resonates. But there's definitely someone here of high honor, um, that was literally gifted by the universe how to maintain structure or how to create structure in your life so that's good all right the climate is starting to change so maybe you're starting to drift from other people or maybe you're wanting to move in a different direction or you're wanting to move into a new place all right you're exploring so it feels like you are finally seeing, seeing the light or you're able to um come up for air and see there's much more to life than what you were accustomed to or what you were used to in the past all right so good job air um sorry not air sign maybe air signs involved with this aquarius gemini libra okay maybe you're separating yourself from an air sign all right maybe you have air in your placements all right yep resources is here which is the second house so forest protection so your resources are protected all right so if you're wanting to move out you can do that mm -mm -mm. communication maybe someone is wanting to have communication with you or you're wanting to have communication with someone but it's not going to go as as planned all right so just keep moving forward don't even worry about their foolishness all right especially somebody's just trying to come and attack you with bullshit just ignore them and keep it moving don't worry about that or turn return right to sender you have every right to protect yourself. The bullshit that they want to spew on you, they want to throw up on you, return that shit right to sender. Yeah, they ain't going to like that. All right? So some beautiful changes are getting ready to come for you. You're going to be very successful. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're moving forward in your new path, you're definitely going to be successful. There's no more grief. There's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Spirit wants for you to have much more empathy for yourself. Okay? There's no need for you to worry. You don't have nothing to worry about. There's no reason for you to guilt trip yourself. You don't have to guilt trip at all. There's no regrets. Okay, so this is relationships. So there's no regrets with this relationship. It could be a friendship, a, a co-worker connection. It could be a lover. Okay, you don't have any regrets. All right, and that's good. So it feels like this person is coming to blame you because they feel lonely. That's weird. How are you going to blame me for you being, being lonely? You weird. You lonely because you lonely. You got to deal with that. You got to eat that shit. That ain't got nothing to do with me. If you not treating me right, I'm leaving. The hell I look like staying up being under somebody that's not going to um gonna treat me right. That's weird. So adversity is here and forgiveness, okay? So you're going through adversity right now. Spirit wants you to forgive yourself, okay? Because 
You ain't gonna like it, but I'm not here to sugarcoat now. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, right? So you've put yourself through some adversity, some through, through some unnecessary adversities, okay? And spirit is calling for you to forgive yourself for the part that you played in this, okay? We all make mistakes, but just because we make mistakes doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. Like, oh my God, I'm the I'm the, the most baddest person ever. Like nobody will like me anymore, whatever the case may be, because I feel like that's what's going on in your head too. A lot of like um, self-esteem, okay? A lot of uh, people probably like, you know, been throwing things to you and, and throwing me in like the, the, the words. You ain't shit. You ain't never going to be shit. You this, you that and all that. You, got, you can't let people do that to you. You much stronger than that. You a fire sign. You a fire sign. You can't let people do that to you. You are blessed beyond measures. You are blessed beyond measures. Stop going around and around in your head, all right, about this. It's time to release and let go. You got it. Release and let go. Okay, so this was not the fate for you, all right? This is not the fate. You were not supposed to be in this forever, basically. So, yeah, it's like a connection. Like, you, you've you severed a connection. Someone severed a connection with you, all right? Heavily hearing uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavily. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavily, heavily, heavily. Yeah, you want to feel free and you're wanting to move forward and co-create with something or someone. Yeah. Truth be told, you just want the truth to be told and the truth will be definitely told. You see the owl here? To me, the owl represents the moon for some reason. I don't know. And I just feel like everything is going to be illuminated. It's like opening up. So maybe you're opening up yourself to speak your truth. Okay, maybe this mask is no longer. Maybe the mask has fell. And this was allowing it to open up. But you will be speaking your truth because one plus four is five. And five represents changes. All right. So that's all I have for y'all. Uh, and this is the weekend vibes very quickly. All right. Let me know if it resonates with you. And if it do, definitely leave a comment below. I would love to hear some feedback from y'all. Until next time, Air Signs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you would like to order any goodies in my store and also book a private reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. So until next time, Air Signs. Peace. Oh, I'm sorry. Fire Signs. I keep saying fire. Must be air in this as well, too. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. All right. So just take it how it resonates. But until next time, Fire Signs. Peace.